Whoa! This has been quite the accident. Someone was playing Splatoon over here. So this is where Mr. Wright got hit by that car. According to the map, this is the place. What a huge mansion. Feels like Chinatown. <laughs> Not China, Chinatown. Apollo, there's a nice looking lady over there. Let's question her. Uh, okay. Sure, sure. I'm a little curious about uh, the park over there too. People park. Yes, yeah, she looks very nice. Excuse me, um, can we have a few words with you? I want something! Whoa! That husky voice! Why am I suddenly sweating? That's quite a house you've got there. You must make a lot- have a lot of money. Oh, money sounds like something my son would call his friends. This is the Kitaki family, mansion little girl. Eh. You, kid with the hair, you want something? Uh, me? No, not a thing. I don't own anything. Bye. Apollo, we can't leave without questioning her. What if she knows something? In my defense, she's wearing a kimono. She's got a Chinese thing. That's about as Chinese, <laughs> that's, you know, and she's from the Kitaki family. They're the biggest organized crime syndicate in town. Oh. If you're going to ask something, ask it, if you're a man enough. How did you get so lovely, Mrs. Kotaki? <laughs> right! Yay, way to whip him into shape, ma'am! Does she know no fear? Is she a fearless lady? What? I'm Plum, Plum Kitaki, wife of the fourth head of the Kitaki family business. Friends call me Little Plum. Uh, I'm Little Apollo Justice, attorney at law. Okay. If looks could kill, this woman would be a mass murderer by now. Okay, well, let's, um, let's have a chat with the Kitaki. The Kitakis. Little Plum, that's a really cute name for someone, so... Yes? So thin and lovely. Whoa, 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 whoa! What is it, Apollo? Maybe don't say anything bad about the woman with the sword in her broom! How about you go through me when talking to her, okay, Trucy? Huh? That seems like a bit of a needless procedure. I'm a lawyer. I live for needless procedures. Oh, little girl, you should know. We're gangsters. Gangs? Oh, that means you're the bad guys. Trucy! Through me! Please! I'm begging you here! <laughs> the bad guys. I like the sound of that. I'm gonna need some warm tea after this. And maybe during this. Maybe before this. So I'm gonna leave and come back with some tea. It takes a lot of hard work to protect a family fortune. Things aren't as easy as they used to be for us. Bad guys. So you're saying that business is in a slump? Uh, let's not ask about business, if we can help him, please. So, there's, um, I, there's been a small accident outside your door. Do you need someone to help clean that? There's a car accident here last night. Last night. Of course you wouldn't know about it. Of course you wouldn't know about it. Sorry to bother you. Sorry. Sorry. I mean, wait. Uh, yes? You're talking about that man, aren't you? The one who flew 30 feet and just walked away. That's my daddy! <laughs> I should have known! One of our capos thought he'd make a great point man. Capo? Point man? Is he going to play basketball? Uh, could you avoid using too much, uh, industry lingo? <laughs> In any case, he's been nothing but trouble. I've been cleaning up this mess since morning. Bah! Cleaning up this, um, Paint? Is that paint? Splatter, splatooned paint? Was this paint spilled at the time of the accident? 
It was around nine last night. I heard a crashing noise uh, and found your father drowning in a sea of paint. So you came to his rescue? You've met him. You've my husband, the boss, to thank for that. The car that hit your father knocked over this paint. Then turned the corner and sped away. We're in the middle of repainting our wall, you see. I'm sure that dragon is glaring at me. But why are you out here cleaning it up with a broom? What do you mean? I mean, aren't you a gangster? Don't you have any goons to do your dirty work for you? Please, please go through me! <laughs> what do you want to- <laughs> Don't be such a stiff lawyer, boy. I suppose we gangsters do have a certain image. Uh, uh, yeah, yes. But we're community-oriented gangsters, you see. The boss likes to give back to the people, you see. How noble of him! I availed myself of the public facilities to get rid of all the garbage. Now there's just the paint on the street to deal with. Public facilities? The uh, this? I wonder if she means that trash can? Yes, that's a good point. I would not want to be called stiff for fear I might become a stiff. Alright, well we're out of talking things. Uh, do we have anything to show her? Not really. A map of the area. Let's, uh, let's look around. See if we can find anything to then ask her about. Like this symbol up here. Wow, what a big house! And the gate is so big! Uh, the Kentucky family is pretty big around these parts. I like the fox, it's so cute! Ah, uh, that, that's our family crest from the old country. Your family crest? We're clever as the fox, and our teeth are sharp. So it's like a motto! You need a crest too, Apollo. Ooh, how about the scales of justice, or a lunar lander? I'll pass, thanks. We don't need to be talking about space missions right now. Oh, I can look over there. I will look over there! We're not done exploring here first, I think. There's paint splashed all over this gate. What a mess. Was this paint knocked over by the car that hit my daddy? That's right. And I'm left to clean up the mess. If you find whoever did this, bring this scoundrel by, would you? Of course, then you can make them clean up their own mess. <laughs> You're cute. Naive, but cute. They will never be cleaning anything ever again. When I find whoever did this, you can bet I'll be doing some cleaning. Okay. There's nothing I dislike so much as a mess. Ooh, I wish I could say cool things like that. I'll bet you do. <laughs> I laugh at my teeth are chattering so hard. Okay. Alright. Let's look at the cool dragon. A brightly painted dragon. But why do I get the feeling he's glaring at me? Those paints must have been to repaint this wall. That's right, I called in an artist to do the job right. He's the third so far. The... Third? The first spilled paint all over the entrance here. The second, on my kimono. So I... Uh... No, 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 don't tell me. It's better that I don't know. I'm gonna assume that you let them go, and you just hired a new artist. Let them go, like, fired them, not let them go off of the edge of a pier with cement shoes. Um, let's try to look over at the other place. Yeah, let's go over here. Hello! Who's that? She's looking at the park. She's pretty. I bet she has a story, you know? There's something about her. Too bad she seems to be in a bit of a rush. Can we talk to you, lady? Hello? No, it's the same group. Okay. Interesting. Well, let's look around and figure out what's going on over here. Personally, I'm a little more interested in this park. You know what I think? I bet they're filming a movie. Let's go take a look. Maybe we'll see someone famous. Maybe we'll see someone famous. Hey, miss, stay out of the park! 
he got mad at me. Um, did something happen here, officer? Huh? Ah, uh, no, move along, nothing to see. Why don't you kids go play someplace else? We're not, we're not kids and we're not playing. I'm an attorney. Something wrong? Ah, Detective Sky! We're fine, ma'am, nothing to report. Whoa! Detective? Why is she wearing a lab coat? You hardly want to comment on how people are dressed. And, uh, these kids are... Curiosity Seekers, ma'am. They claim to be lawyers. Ah, uh, why don't you kids run along and play someplace else? Look, we're, we're not... Or I might spill something on that pretty face of yours. <laughs> what a dose of experimental hydrox... Hydroxyacylunodosatrace? Come again? What's hydroxy stuff? Whatever it is, it doesn't sound good. Let's go, Trucy. Try to keep out the riffraff if you would. Yes, ma'am. Girl, how are we gonna get more information like this? Why don't we ask that nice woman across the street? Oh, yes, that nice woman. Well... Alright, do we have more things to ask her? We do have a new thing, okay. Can I... Can I ask you a question? What? What happened in the park across the street? Oh yes, quite the commotion. Chicago Lightning, as the boss would say. Chicago? Huh? Gunfire. Someone was killed. Strange circumstances, too. You're kidding! What a morning. Trouble everywhere, the park, the gate, even our house. Did something happen at your house, too? A crime without honor, without remorse. It's a private matter. Wanna hear about it? Somehow I don't think no is an acceptable answer, Polly. Yep, okay. Yep, tell me anything you'd like to talk about. That's fine. So, what happened at your house? Bloomers. Last night. Uh, I got a bad feeling about this. Bloomers? Like, panties? Sorry, no, I'm sorry. Me, little plum kitaki, the victim of a panty snatcher. Oh, there's a, there's a, it's a crime, it's an epidemic. What? So it wasn't just my panties that were stolen? Got you too, did they? Poor thing. Like I said, whoever did this is a hardened criminal. It wasn't you, was it? No, I don't even, I don't even like panties. I don't, I, no, 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 of course not. Mercy. I've heard a word that panties have been disappearing lately. And the missing panties all have something in common. It's hard to imagine Trucy's and Miss Kataki's panties having much in common. I just imagine Miss Kataki's panties. Oh, I regret. I know, we'll find your bloomers too. Great, show me what you're made of. What have you gotten me into this time, Trucy? Uh, that girl from before. Oh, welcome home, sweetie. Ah, uh, uh, hello, my mother. She's a Kentucky too? Oh, a miss, miss. Hmm? Here, our flyer. The right anything agency? Uh, any, anything agency? Uh, yeah, do you like the new flyer? So, um, this is our defense attorney, Mr. Apollo Justice. Attorney? Drop by our office. We'll be waiting. Ah, goodbye. Why did you give her our flyer? I don't know. She seemed like she could use some help. She's the heiress to a gangster dynasty. She does not need our help. I wouldn't be so sure. Uh... Alright. I'm gonna assume that we're set here for now. Let's go to the scene of the stand theft. Check out a new place. And we'll head back there and maybe maybe our, our, our new client will show up. So. 
What's this place? No, no! I'm guessing that's supposed to be noodles, but it just says no! This would be Mr. Eldoon's house, silly. Oh, so this is where his stand was stolen from. I can see a piece of evidence lying on the ground already. Hey! What? Look, there's a police car parked over there! You're right. What's with the sparkly entrance? What is this place, a hospital? There's a sign, Maractus Clinic. Hmm, oh, that's where the thief went. The thief? The one who snatched my panties! He ran into this clinic last night! Wait, maybe that police car is here to find my panties! I doubt it. Did you even call it into the police? Why would they even be looking for that? Well, there's only one way to be sure. Let's investigate. Ah, there you are, Sonny! Well, do you find anything yet? Uh, no. No, not yet. The longer you loaf around here, the saltier your victory bowl gets. Just remember that. This bowl of noodles is sounding less like payment and more like punishment. A certain doctor who's not a doctor, he works in a different clinic. And by works, I mean doesn't work and just creepily hangs around by. But, yes. So, your stand. Eldoon's noodles, was it? I passed down from father to son. That stand's seen its share of salt. Mm-hmm. Salt runs in the family, you might say. I bet high blood pressure does, too. So, your stand. Eldoon's noodles was stolen. Oh, it wasn't just the stand that was stolen, sonny boy. I lost those wobbly wheels, my salt crusted stew pot, my stained sign. I didn't just lose a stand. I lost a legend. No one steals a legend and gets away with it on my watch. Let's find that legend, Apollo. Isn't it about time he bought a new one anyway? Are there any more details you could give me about the stand? You bet, sonny boy! It happened last night! I was blowing my whistle, like always, crying in the town I was. The smell of broth filled the streets thick and salty. This is... This is like the most inappropriate investigation I've ever been through. I got home, well, right before 10 p.m., I reckon. Guess he's not aiming for that late-night market. I washed my bowls and gave the wheels a squirt of grease. Then I went inside. When did you notice it had been stolen? Early this morning, before the sun rose, work starts early. Do that many people eat noodles for breakfast? I'm washed up on the salty sewers of ruination. That stained my whole life in it. Nay, my whole being. They took everything? All my soup stock, my noodles, my bowls, and my dreams. At least they left one bowl. Look there on the ground. If you don't find that stand today, then I'll be forced to walk the streets peddling that bowl. My last bowl. Please, I'm under enough pressure here as it is. So do you sell them the bowls? Do they get to keep the bowl? Or do they rent the bowl and they give it back when they finish so they have to eat it right there? I don't understand noodle stands. I'm a crazy American where they we don't we don't have those here. Or well, if we did, they'd have little plastic bowls, not something nice like that. That's it. That's where the thief who snatched my panties ran to. It's a crying shame, that is. If they have to steal, make it my loincloth, not some pretty girl's panties. I, there's probably a reason they wouldn't want to take that. The garage, the garage, right. You don't think the thief lives here, do you? Fah! Fah, I wouldn't put it past that good-for-nothing doctor! Hmm, do I detect a little animosity here? Let's make sure to check out that garage thoroughly. Okay, let's do it. Examine... Let's look at the bowl. If we can. Maybe this tarp. Let's look at this tarp. And the no sign. That's the place right there. That's where I kept my stand covered all nice and pretty with that blue tarp there. So you use this plastic sheet to cover your stand at night? I see. You see? What, did you figure out why it was stolen? Well, no, but it does suggest that the thief knew what he or she was looking for. They clearly knew what was under that sheet. 
so it wasn't one of those casual drive-by stand snatchers, you mean? Not bad, sonny boy! Not bad at all! I wanna look at the no sign. That's quite a sign. I take it that's no new as opposed to old? Ah, oh, you like it? Made it myself, I did. I meant to write noodles, but I ran out of space. I hate when that happens. When you're making a sign. I was making an intro for the series. Oh, and it's gonna be backwards, so that's super bad. But I made an objection cardboard box so that I could, like, sit outside by a dumpster and just kind of object. But I, I started to write it and I ran out of space, so there's no exclamation point because I didn't have room to put it on the box. But I made object OBJECTION! But I ran out of space. Ugh. Prior planning prevents poor performance. Yeah. Lucky for me, it spells a word all by itself and spruces up my image, it does! It does have a certain power of willful denial going for it. No! No! I'm not fine! Uh, is this a tank of water? Looks like the oil drum is connected to that sink over there. Clutching rainwater to the dishes. How environmentally conscious. You don't think he uses rainwater to cook his noodles and to make the broth, do you? Oh, I'm sure he finds the best water money can buy. Taste is his business, you know. Look, that sign over there. El Dunes only uses water from all natural sources. I think I'll take a rain check on eating here. And there's like a bathroom over here. This house is, well, it's old. It's been well loved, that's for sure. I've lived here with my wife for many years now. It's got character though, just like my soup. Oh, I always thought character was a positive thing. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Depends on your character. Look, a doggy? Good boy, good boy, Salty. I'm sure the dog, I'm sure the dog has a real name, Trucy. Yep, sure does. Name's Spoon, and it's a she, by the way. Spoon doesn't seem so lively. She didn't get her bowl of salty broth this morning, that's why. You feed her salty broth? Poor little thing. Ugh. Oh, Paul, let's find that stand soon, for Spoon's sake. She needs to eat food that is definitely killing her. I'm pretty sure dogs aren't supposed to eat noodles. Or broth. There's a sign over here? There's, there's a handwritten sign here. Save the light. Save the light, indeed. Mr. Eldon's house is practically in the dark here. I guess the hospital clinic next door blocks the sunlight. Everything's gone wrong since they built this monstrosity. Who broth needs sun or it rots? What's a man to do? They just want my customers to get food poisoning so they can turn a pretty profit. That seems like a lot of trouble to go through for a few extra patients. Alright, I feel like we've sufficiently explored. Let's check out this crazy clinic. Um, three shots for the price of one. Looks like they have a special offer going on. Three shots for the price of one. Ooh, now's our chance, Apollo. Let's get shot in the arm. I can finally get all of my vaccinations. Chance for what? I don't need any shots, thank you. Whoever runs this clinic, they seem pretty business-minded. Just get all the shots you can. Get them all out of the way. That doorway sure is sparkly. The Miractus Clinic, huh? It looks like more like a casino parlor than a hospital. They must be quite profitable. Funny, it looks closed. Maybe they're on vacation today? A little odd for a hospital to be on vacation. And the cops are here. I understand if there was an ambulance outside, but a police car? Maybe they're tax evaders. Uh, sorry miss, no going into the clinic today. Did something happen? Huh? Oh no, nothing to see here. Move along. You'll have to find someplace else to play doctor. Inappropriate. Do you look the right age to be playing doctor? Depends on how you're playing. We need, we need a little more info on this Miractus clinic. We can ask Mr. Eldoon, he's their neighbor and all. And we should check out that garage. What if the thief who stole my panties is still in there? Uh, Alright, okay. Look in the garage. How do we check out the garage? Do we move to the garage? Oh yes, we can move to the garage. 
Uh, do you have anything new to say? You do. All right, let's ask you about the clinic. Hey, do you think something happened next door? There's a police car out front. That probably gave some food poisoning, I get a bet. If you are risk giving someone food poisoning, uh... That police car got here this morning, actually. I asked what they were up to, but they wouldn't even tell me the neighbor. <laughs> hmm. Not that I was surprised much. That doctor works for the wrong crowd. It was just a matter of time before he got what was coming to him. <laughs> the wrong crowd? Never you mind about that. Okay. Doctor got what's coming to The wrong crowd. So does he deal with... Criminals? Let's check out the, gar the garage. There's a skeleton! Get out of the way! There's a, there's a skeleton! This is the place. This is where the panty snatcher ran. Are you sure? Maybe. Let's look for clues. Clues. To a panty snatching. Clues like a pair of panties. Uh, Trizzy? Could you try not saying panties so many times, please? Can we use a euphemism or something? Can we say that they stole a hat? A hat snatcher? See? See? How hard would it have been to have had a hat be stolen? And then it wouldn't be... I mean, I know the motivation is not quite the same for those kinds of things. Let's look around. There... I see something pink down here. There's something about this car. Let's take a closer look. Those are not panties. There's... Oh, there might be something in the exhaust pipe, but I want to check out this pink thing first. Look, a cell phone. Someone dropped it beneath this tire. If the car moved, it would be crushed for sure. Hmm. I wonder if it belongs to the doctor here. We should bring it to him later. Okay. We got a cell phone. And... That's definitely something. That reminds me. I once read a record of a case that Mr. Wright worked on many years ago. Hmm? Apparently there was this car with a piece of cloth shoved into the tailpipe. That piece of cloth turned out to be a vital clue to solving the case. Wow! I remember that case record whenever I'm checking out a car. And I always check the tailpipe in case someone shoved in a piece of cloth that happens to be a vital clue. Everyone's gotta have a hobby, I guess. Wouldn't it be funny if... Hey! There's something in there! What? What? Wait a second. Are these your... Ah! My panties! Her hat. Oh, her hat. Someone put it in the... In the tailpipe. What? Already? Oh, thank you, Apollo. You're a genius. Amazing. N no. No, really. Don't... Please do not mention it. Do not tell anyone that I found your panties. Don't even just stop. No, I'm serious. I'm really impressed. You must have a nose for finding girls. Come on! <laughs> You're making it too easy. You have a nose for finding girls' panties. Great. Uh, what are those? Is that what you wear? Are you Minnie Mouse? My little panties, of course. They've come home to Mama. I can't wait to use them. My little panties, my little panties. Ah, uh, you're gonna put them on now? Watch closely now. What? See, nothing in the panties. Ta-da! Whoa! Where'd that come from? How did that bowl get in your panties? My panties are an extra dimensional space. Anything can fit in there. Anything at all. Anything. Anything at all. They're my magic panties. It's one of my best tricks. Magic panties. They love them over at the Wonder Bar. I do shows there nightly. You mean those panties are a prop? You could have told me a little sooner! That they- you don't put them on your, your bits! Your bits! Cover your bits! Tracy's panties put discreetly away in Trucy's pocket. 
Well, that's one case closed, at least. One case that we're not getting paid for. Great. What are you saying? We still have to catch the sly devil that ran off with the tool of my trade. Oh, right. Uh, right. Right. Something tells me we're not finishing search... Something tells we're not finished searching this garage anyway. Is there still something else in the close-up that we need to find? Anything at all? Anything at all? Let's look in the tailpipe again, I guess, as we can. Still, I'm glad if I hadn't picked up that habit of looking at tailpipes, I might never have seen your panties. I mean, found your panties. Magic panties. I know, it was amazing how you slyly peeked up there. I think you have a successful career in peeking up tailpipes ahead of you. I'm so glad all of this makes sense in context. You gotta wonder why my panties were here, though. That is a mystery. That is a mystery indeed. Let's get away from this car. Let's look at Mr. Skellyface. Let's check out Papyrus over here. Eek! Someone's there! Oh, it's just a gold-painted human Gold-painted. It was just a gold-painted human skeleton. Just a human skeleton? Painted gold? There's a mannequin hand waving to us from the box behind the skeleton. This place just screams hospital storage, don't you think? Yeah, I know a lot of hospitals that need gold skeletons. It screams something, that's for sure. In case, you know, I ever break all of my bones and I'm really rich and I just want an all gold bone transplant. Also, golden bones would be terrible. They'd be really heavy and really soft. They'd break easily. It's the worst skeleton you can have. Look at the folding ladder. Polly, that's called a step ladder. Come on. Uh, a step ladder? How is that different from a regular ladder then? It's a much more complex piece of machinery. It's like two ladders stuck together. So you admit that basically it's a ladder, right? Wait, huh? You have to look past the form at the essence of the thing, its function. Uh, can we talk about something else, instead of you being just really weirdly petulant about a ladder? Okay, sorry, Trucy. Sorry, Trucy. Yes, there is a kitty. Hey, a kitty cat! Here, kitty, kitty, kitty! It's not coming down! We do look kind of suspicious, you have to admit. Me with my devil horns. You, a 15-year-old magician. It's okay, kitty cat. His hair won't hurt you. It's okay, kitty cat. She won't make you disappear in her hat or her panties. 